Today's meditation is on Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he bent down and listened to my cry. He stooped down to lift me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire and the mess I was in. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along his ascending path. A new song for a new day rises up in me every time I think about how he breaks through for me. Ecstatic praise pours out of my mouth until everyone hears how God has set me free. Many will see the miracles he has done and be amazed. They will stand in awe of God and fall in love with him. They will put their trust in the Lord. Oh, the joy I have because I trust the Lord. Blessing after blessing comes to me. I will not fall away, for I refuse to listen to the lies of the proud. The Lord my God has performed many wonders for me. His plans for me are too numerous to list. He has no equal. If I tried to recite all of his wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of his countless expressions of love. He far exceeds my expectations. It isn't sacrifices and offerings that move his heart. They don't bring any special joy to him. He isn't looking for me to do something or bring something to him. It isn't being religious or acting pious that he wants from me. But when he opens my ears and speaks to me, I become his willing servant, a prisoner of love for life. His word entered my life and became part of my very being. I take joy in doing his will, for his instructions are written on my heart. I tell everyone the good news that God forgives their sins, and I'm not timid about it. I don't keep this good news a secret hidden in my heart, but proclaim his loving kindness and truth to all who will listen. I tell it all how dependable he is, how thorough. I don't hold back pieces of love and truth for myself alone. I share the whole story. The Lord doesn't hold back his tender mercies from me. My only hope is in his love and faithfulness, and they always protect me. They are what keeps me together. His compassion overflows to me no matter what I face. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. For problems far too big for me to solve are piled higher than my head, and my sins too many to count would catch up with me. I would be so swamped by guilt that I would not be able to see my way clear. But the Lord is quick to the rescue. He has forgiven every sin and blotted them out from his memory. I seek only him, for in him I am filled with joy and gladness. I constantly exclaim how great and glorious God is. He is able to take my mess and make something of me. The Lord keeps me in his thoughts. He is thinking about me right now. He comes quickly and saves me. He doesn't delay. He is my true savior and hero. He is my God. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.